Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. Chelsea for Preston nil. We've managed to get the W file. I think you have won more than anyone, to be honest with you. A corporate hospitality package, uh, four white wines at full time. I don't know how you squeeze that in, in 15 minutes. Yeah. I mean, what else have I missed? No, not much really, apart from the um, dull first half performances, you know. Um, it was a bit dull, let's be real here, let's be real, because the lineup wise, I, I don't have any much to blame on Pochettino regardless, because we've got so many injuries on our list as well, and that's what I feel like, that's what he can, that's what the best that he can do, and the fact that in the first half alone, there was a bit slow at times, it was a bit lethargic, even I saw Mutrik, I thought he was the, the worst one out on of the bad bunch in the first half, you know. Yeah, I have to agree with you, Far. I think Poch should have subbed Mutrik at half time, to be honest yeah. with you, but if I'm not wrong, Got, did he get the assist for the first goal uh, with Broha? I think it was did, Gusto. Did Mut it was, it was, it was it Gusto? Was it Gusto? Um, maybe I'm wrong. Um, yeah, but it was someone Gusto. from the left. Yeah, it was, I think it was Gusto that got that assist in the first half. But apart from that, like you, like you said, me talked to you, me kind of had a disagreement with you about who's the worst player in the first half because I thought it was Sterling at first. Then you said it was Mutrik yeah. because I thought it was kind of like both of them 50-50, you know? And the fact that maybe Poch tweaked things in the second half, maybe Maybe he tried to kind of like ask the girls to get put more some energy in because it's the FA Cup third round and because there will be an upset on the card as well. And I think that that dressing room troll kind of changed the game somehow in the second half. I think they will they will look much better. Maybe it's because Preston made a couple of mistakes in the back and we kind of capitalize it in, in, in some sense, you know. But yeah, I'm happy. But at the same time, um, looking ahead, looking ahead, it's gonna be you know, it's gonna be tough yeah absolutely I mean Jacob what, what did you think about this game and also are you feeling better because I know last time we spoke oh, yeah. you weren't feeling great yeah. um I want to think first off um <clears throat> We weren't great. The first half was terrible. I say they were better than us at one point. They had a better chance. They had better chance than, than us. Yeah. You see that corner, and I got scared. And it's Preston North End, Preston East End, same thing. They're all the same. But so first half was terrible. Second half, I mean, I think the quality just showed really. Like, were we ever gonna lose to Preston? No. So, um, I I do think Cole Palmer didn't do like as much as he usually does I'm not going to say he had a bad performance but I don't think he did much as he usually does Rose you're getting the header although I do think with him it's a bit of false hope I, I still don't think he's good enough although he got a header he did well but it's Preston North End and I don't think but he hit the post as well with another header I, does that not show you that if you feed him crosses that, that is his strength rather than playing out I do on yeah to be honest yeah but it is still Preston though you look at the keepers in the Premier they're a lot better though so if he does do the, play the football we played today play it against the Premier League team and then I think that'll give us the results and that'll show and that'll be the answer because I do I'm not gonna say we were bad all together but the first yeah, half was shocking something as well what is a, our actual style of play because we haven't figured that out one yet we seem to keep changing rotation lineup week in week out but we just don't even know what is our best starting 11 at this rate we're in 2024 now we're about 25 days away from transfer window being closed I've seen rumors about Oshiman going to Chelsea but at the moment I'm kind of like thinking I'm looking at the squad right now surely you know you have to know that you're the best starting 11 um, with the question you said Poch that usually has him aside from Chelsea is a pressing quite high pressing mainly pressing based tactic um, and focuses on the lines of pressing but at Chelsea I don't really know what is it because you know, I literally don't I can't answer you that at Chelsea because we've sacked so many managers who is it because we brought in loads of players we brought in the manager new manager like what is it 
Bowling needs to sort it out because I'm here speechless and so is a lot of fans. Yeah, I think it's I think it's really difficult as mm. well when we when we look at the style of play, mm. you that's when the recruitment is so important because you want players that are gonna fit into a style of play. But we've got so many players we've signed, first of all that aren't proven. I mean that's everyone knows that. But also these players were signed under different management, um, you know, different different potential projects and, and different positions that they were going to play in. Yeah. You know, Fafana and uh, you know, Fafana was signed under Tuchel. Mm -hmm. And then you've got Badi Ashil who was signed under Potter. Potter yeah. And then you've got other players under Pochettino. So if you don't give Poch a chance to really gel some of his own players into the squad, I think that's quite harsh because I don't get the impression even in the summer he was given much power and that seems evident because he's not yeah. been given power in January either from this, uh, what yeah, I've heard. This is why me and you kind of tagging along each other, um, debating with Scott and Lewis in the, in the podcast a couple of weeks ago about Poch. I, I understand you kind of criticising a lot of things regarding his game management and that, but what what can... <coughs> What can actually better manager do with this kind of car kind of squad that we've got right now? We've got kind of like ro lots of rotation, but at the same time, he's not. I don't think he's fi he's not figuring out his best starting eleven yet. And you want him sacked at this time of the season when we got Carabao Cup semi final. We could potentially go on an easy easy run to the FA Cup final. But, but, no, easy. Come on, father. It, it's it, never look, easy. Look, it, Look, it, it's it's never easy, but you never know with Chelsea. We we owe some easy runs to the cup final after what happened last year. We've got two Man City ways to deal with in the third round. So other than that, I feel we owe some easy runs as well. Good to see you, my friend. He's back again. Oh, back yeah. again. How are you? He's bringing it today. I, I, I tell you, I tell you what. Honestly, uh, I, I don't know how father's done it. Four white wines in 15 minutes, uh, full time. Did you watch your game today? <laughs> no, I, I, I wasn't that's drinking a, the white wine. I was with him. To be fair, I was with him. To be fair. So, yeah. I, I watched the game. I, I, I honestly think that it was a game of two halves. I think the first half we weren't great, and the second half, I'm not even going to say we were great. I just think the players individually made a difference. Madueke was was one of them, and and um, you know, obviously it was nice to see. So Broha we've been having getting. a chat all season, haven't we? Really? Yeah. And I've been very critical of all the nippers and everything. Mm, yeah. um, and I've got to take a step back now and say, actually, I think we're nearly getting there, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? What, 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 do you what, think? what tells you that? Yeah. Well. At the beginning of the season, we should have got rid of all the lads. We should have kept a, a couple of the Chelsea yeah. hierarchy to tell these young lads what to do. Um, I mean, I know it was Preston, North End today. They had a right go up, right up to half time, didn't they? It was yeah. weird. I mean, where's your season tickets? Uh, well, I, I sit MHL, okay. but I've got um, my dad's got two in East, so I was in East today. And they they were amazing, their fans, weren't they? Oh, they were Kush, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Which is which they is were, all. They were singing. They were singing at the end after the full time when they lost four 0 Yeah, which is brilliant, isn't it? I think yeah. it is. I mean, I think on Chelsea fan TV. This season we've been quite critical of our lads, but yeah. but we got to just stand up and say, hold on a minute, we're we're having a go now, aren't we? Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, we managed to get a result, and, and it's it's we don't usually see convincing score lines either. So even if the performance and wasn't it could the have best, been for a lot more, couldn't you it? You know what the crazy thing is more. as well? Like even if we win four 0 people still having a go at a potch. I don't think they do nothing more today. Yeah. I think with Poch though, it's a hard one to tell because I don't think it's him making the recruitment decisions. But we can't now give him the power to because, in honest my opinion, he has been a bit underwhelming so far. So I think we're in an impossible situation. And we either just stick with Poch at the end of the season or and we just keep keep with him. Um, um, we can't sack him, Jacob. <laughs> Not at the moment. We can't. At the moment, but you, but we, but obviously, honestly, like, because he hasn't done a great job, honestly, in my opinion, so far. Then we can't just give him the, we can't give him the power just to make all the choose all the transfers. And these players, it's not that the fact that they've been signed under different managers. They've been signed under different under the recruitment team. And it's like they've got they've got an ideology that I'm not sure if the manager has. Go on, Steve. Just just to finish off, I know your mates are trying to drag you away. So. All I'd like to say for thank you, Pochettino, for 
bringing us to the new year with with a, well, we've got we've got massive expect expectancy. Is that is that the word I'm saying? Expectations. Expectations. Um, yeah. I'm very very tired. Um, Absolutely. He used he used to come from Beijing, <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and, 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 and it's not raining. It's not raining. Oh, but not yet, I mean, so for for the new year, I think we're doing all right, aren't we? Absolutely. I think we're doing all right. And and listen, you guys do fantastic on Chelsea Fan you, TV. You do, and you touch. Touch. No, 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 thanks for letting me bump in here, you know. Yeah. So the next time, give me a good run interview. We'll do a full twelve minute interview. Oh, you know Steve, I mean? that's, that's you spoil son. me, mate. Come here, come here, that's my son in law Matt Scott. <laughs> that's my How son in law Matt Scott. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. 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 Pleasure.
have to the game management about posture as well because coming to this game is a very very important game we've got two legs away from Wembley Stadium like first trophy in our and and the first season as well uh, with the era that Tottenham Hotspur is in right now so yeah it's a massive step but at the same time take it very caution as, as well like got got to do better game management than today That's pleasure sure. thank you very much Just boys <laughs> as an Arsenal fan I know from my school and what is the score today anyway.